Brandon, uh, you're officially on Spear Brothers. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Um, today is June 11th. I just got home from work and my buddy Brandon is coming over from New Jersey. I'm super excited. I uh, haven't seen him in two years uh, with this whole pandemic. Getting this ready. Is, this is Brandon's pretty sweet kayak. It's a stealth kayak, right? Yeah, stealth. Here we go. All right, so a lot of you guys have asked for voiceovers, so I'm going to give it my best shot. Right here, I am in Rhode Island. Um, you can see the current is really pushing me around. I throw up some sand to try and attract the fish. There's um, seaweed there, so I'm trying to use that to my advantage to hide from the fish. And um, you can see eventually that I attract a scup or porky and land a shot. So to the left of that, there was a striper. Uh, unfortunately, he was too small, so I uh, would not have taken a shot at him. Yo, what's up? <coughs> what? Oh, really? I'm sorry. I didn't see you. It's not hanging? Did it come off? I thought I put it on the boat. Did it, did it fall off? No, when we were anchored up, you had it. This is like my three mil weather. What is it? I, I should be wearing a three and a half mil. This is like five for me. I'm so hot. All right, so I'm dropping down right here, and as you can see, the cone on the tip of my shaft actually slid down, so um, had to re-glue that at the end of the day, it wasn't a big issue. Again, I'm trying to find some cover. There was a lot of loose seaweed here, and I got as far into it as I could, and <clears throat> grunted to attract some scup, and managed to do so. So I landed a nice shot, and brought up the fish. Wasn't the biggest one of the day, but a keeper. Those are actually my favorite to eat. I like eating the small ones. I throw them on the grill, scale them. They are delicious, or um, sometimes we fry them whole. Uh, this spot right here wasn't any seaweed really, so I'm using a rock uh, to hide behind. And another school comes by, and I land a nice shot right in the gill plate. All right, so as you guys saw in the video, I lost my dive flag. Um, not really sure how it happened. It was a windy day and my flag was attached to a PVC tube that was inside of a rod holder in my Hobie kayak. So I decided to buy this, um, Yak Attack Vizzy Carbon Pole, which goes onto this mount right here, which I haven't installed yet. And basically it goes on as a gear track component so you can easily take it off when you're transporting your boat um it actually came with this orange flag so i decided to buy my own dive flag i really like the rob allen flags they're made out of this like vinyl material every flag about lasts forever and they have that metal pole thing right there which keeps it out <clears throat> um and then i decided to just make some modifications to make this work so i had to cut this right up here to slide the flag down over this. And then I added um, some electrical tape right there to prevent the flag from dropping down. I wanna keep that flag up nice and high. And then added this little rubber stopper to prevent the flag from going up and flying off the pole. So that is my new kayak dive flag set up. Um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to make more like this. Please uh, like the video and subscribe, and dive safe.